we need, in particular in the context of cloud computing, a globally trusted data protection and privacy policies and standards. I believe that cloud providers that can guarantee privacy will have a competitive advantage. At the level of the Council of Europe, we have the Data Protection Convention number 108 that is now open for any country to accede to. Um, but I think some other colleagues will also talk more about that. And what I would like to focus on a bit more is the issue of law enforcement uh, issues in the, connection, in, in the context of cloud computing. Obviously, law enforcement needs need to, uh, need to identify the origin of an attack. They need to identify the, uh, the offenders to hold them accountable. They need to have access to traffic data, to, to content data sometimes, to store computer data, and they need subscriber information. And experience shows that such information helps them to, to, to prosecute uh, cyber criminals and uh, bring them to court. And traditionally, the, the procedure is to do this through search, seizure, and uh, interception or preservation of data, to have uh, search warrants, to have production orders to produce this data, to have safeguards in place in relation to computer data and systems in the country where the law enforcement investigation takes place. And with regard to international cooperation, we have uh, provisions for mutual legal assistance, and these are then complemented through possibilities for urgent measures to ensure the preservation of data in, in other countries. 